My scripture today comes from Isaiah 55, 1 through 5. Yo, everyone who thirsts, come to the water. And you that have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in the rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the people, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that you do not know shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for God has glorified you. So I want you to close your eyes and inhale and exhale. Come to the water. Let those words invite you. Picture in your head a body of water and being called towards it. Come to the water. Oh, Holy One of Israel, We rest with you here a moment. You've invited us to come by, to come to the water, the water that nourishes us, the water that gives us life. You invite us to come to the water. And oh, Holy One, we know what a mess we've made of the water. We know what a mess is happening with the water. We've seen the floods that keep occurring, that come one white after the other from nation to nation, from people to people. We see those waters, those waters that come crashing down. Oh God, you invite us to come to the water and yet there are places and people where the water is disappearing where lakes and rivers are drying up, where it is so hot that there is water no more. You invite us to come to the water, to come to the water and there are people in this country and in Canada that are fighting to protect the water, that are fighting to stop the pipelines that will go through their precious water, their water of life. And so they fight. They continue to fight to stop those pipelines, the pipelines that lead to flooding and drought. So we come to the water. We come to the water and we know that you say to us that this water this water doesn't have a price because it's priceless. This water doesn't have a price because this water nourishes us and fills us. God, help us to learn to take care of your water. Holy One of Israel, you ask us to incline our ear to come to you and listen so that we might live. So right now we'll stop, we'll listen. Holy One of Israel, we stop to pray for those who are on our hearts. 
We pray for our government. We're hearing the stories, the stories of people frightened for their lives. We're hearing the stories of police officers who were damaged and hurt and were trying to protect others to save the government. God, we ask you to be with our government as they come to find the truth. May everyone be able to incline their ears and listen, to hear the pain, to hear the anger, to hear the worry. Let everyone open their ears to hear. And oh God, we pray for our country, our country that's invited to wear masks again in places where COVID is out of control. Holy One of Israel, you invite us to think about that difference between wealth and riches and what makes us truly filled. You ask us to think about what money can be and should be. You ask us to think about a world where we have what we need to stop thrive and survive. Holy One, show us how to create that world, how to live into your dream for us. And Holy One of God, we stop now and listen, listen, listen to us as we pour out the hurts and heartache, the brokenness and woundedness that we find in our community and our families. Remind us of your steadfast love. Remind us of your covenant with us. Remind us that you desire for us to live. Amen.